y'all, I'm Kay and I'm Trish. Welcome to our channel, Crafting Cousins. If you're new here, I hope you will subscribe by clicking on the red subscribe below. If you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know every time we upload new content. Today is Saturday, which means it's time for craft chat. So now might be a good time to pause that video, grab a cup of coffee and let's chat. It's time for craft chat. I am so happy that Kay is here with me today. We were able to get together and do a little bit of recording. We will still be doing some remote sessions, but we were happy to finally see each other after so many months. It's been a while. <laughs> we are excited about today's episode. We are going to be interviewing one of my favorite creators. Mine too. Nadia with DIY with Nadia. I think you're going to love hearing what she has to say. She has so many ideas. And maybe we should just jump on in and, and get with Nadia. And stay with us. Let's come back at the end and we're going to close it up. Just Trish and I. Hey, Nadia. Hi, Hi lady. Hi. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today. We are so happy to have you. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm happy to be here. Well, we have a few questions for you today. We won't keep you long, but we want to get to know you a little better, and we want our subscribers to get to know you a little better. So our, my first question is, do you remember your very first craft and when you got started crafting? Um, I got started when I was about nine. I had a neighbor who was a little old lady who taught me how to cross stitch, and that's what I was doing from like nine to 12 was basically cross stitching. That's so cool. K cross stitches too. I love cross stitching. I, I know it's I feel like it's one of those like it's a lost art. I think so too. I completely agree with you. And it's absolutely beautiful. But my eyes are so bad. There's no way I can do all that little stitching. I don't see how y'all do it. <laughs> he gets to the virtue. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite holiday to craft for? Um I think I have to say Christmas. I mean, I love to do holidays throughout the year, but Christmas is it's just it's special, it's nice, it's it's I don't know, it's so happy. Yes, I agree. I completely that's probably my favorite too. And I love that there are so many different themes for Christmas. You know, you can go whimsical, you can go traditional, you can go Victorian. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, this year we're, I'm doing a country Christmas. Oh, cool. I love the country, so I'm doing country Christmas this year. Well, Kay and I have decided that we're going to decorate every room in my house and do a Christmas tour. So my husband is thrilled about that, if you can imagine. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> is it going to be the same thing throughout the house? No, every room is going to be different. We're going to have a farmhouse room, a hoobill room, <gasps> um, a traditional room where we, we've got all these things planned out and we're so excited about it. Oh, I cannot wait to see it. That is going to be fun to watch. I cannot wait. <laughs> is there anyone else in your family who's a crafter? Um, my sister does jewelry, but um, my mom, I would say, my mom is, you know, she loves floral, floral arrangements. She actually made a really beautiful Christmas arrangement that I put out every year on my coffee table. Oh. It's humongous, like humongous. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so she loves to do Christmas arrangements and like floral arrangements. Sounds mm -hmm. like crafting runs in the blood. <laughs> I think it does just a little bit. <laughs> you got a bug. <laughs> What inspires you to craft? What motivates you? The world around me. <laughs> I feel like anywhere I go, I, I might be driving down the road and I'll see something and get an idea. So I think as I just, I'm one of those people that sees it everywhere. I'm with you on that. I, yeah. I can be out in the yard and see things and pick it up. And, and some of the people in our craft group, they'll say, I just don't see things that way. And it's like, well, the more you do it, the more you see it. Mm -hmm. So then you start seeing it in everything and you want to collect everything. And that drives my husband crazy. <laughs> when, 
When I walk my dog, I, I have my cat in a stroller and I oh. go for a forest preserve. And in the forest preserve, I'm like, there's a little thing. And I I collect like leaves and little sticks and mm -hmm. just everything around me. So oh, yeah, so cool. I, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> cool. Is there a craft that you used to do a lot, but you don't do it anymore? Uh, yeah, scrapbooking. I miss Same. scrapbooking. <laughs> uh, me too. That's one of my favorites. I used to sell the, the supplies and everything to people. I used to the scrapbooking. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Paper, how are you on scrapbooking paper? Uh, stacked to the rafters of my house. <laughs> I'm like, and it's so heavy too. No. Do you yes. still buy scrapbooking paper? No, she does. <laughs> I do, but I paper craft in my defense, you know. And so, if I would buy something, it would be something for like maybe buffalo check or yeah. like a wooden background or something that you know would be just easier to do something with. That's but true, and I do buy those as well. <laughs> Stuff yeah, is true. yeah. <laughs> What is your most favorite project that you've ever created and why? Um, it has to be my home sign. I'm going to turn you a little bit towards it. Okay. It's in my craft room right now. I love and it. And the little O is interchangeable. It has little magnets on the back. And I didn't think it was going to be my favorite, but it <laughs> turned out to be my favorite. I just seem to, I love it. And it's just so simple and clean because it's black and white and you could just interchange it and it's, it's fun. Oh, I think I have like eight different ones. I love the interchangeable pieces. Those are some of my favorite kind of crafts is the ones that you can change out for the seasons. Yeah. Okay. Here's a weird question for you. Hmm. What's the oddest thing on your craft table? Hmm. Let me see. Let me look around a little bit here. <laughs> I bet you use glue, hot glue a lot, don't you? <laughs> um, I've been burned a few times, let me tell you. And this thing, I figured if I get burned, um, you can use it right away because you know how hot glue is, it, it like mm -hmm. it eats you. So you it need does. to get off and just shoot this on there. That's a great idea. I do not have that in my craft room at all, but I you know, I may change that. Now. I, I will be changing that because I'm constantly burning myself. That is such a good idea. People don't realize how hard it is to be a crafter sometimes. I know. It's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous. Yes. <laughs> well, besides the burn cream, what is your absolute must-haves when it comes to crafting? Oh, I have a problem with ribbon. <laughs> 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 Every single haul I do, there's got to be a ribbon in there somewhere. Me too. I like it too, but not as much as you and Kay. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. And I them. have it like I have farmhouse theme. I have Dollar Tree is separate because when you're doing Dollar Tree DIYs, which I love to do, I like to use ribbons that people can buy at Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. um, and burlap is a separate section for me too. And so, yeah. Well, it's funny because I have some ribbons. A lot of the ribbon I have, though, is from my former life when I sewed children's clothing. So I had a lot of ribbon that I used in that, and I did bows and stuff. I've got a lot of that left over, but the one that I buy all the time now is from the Dollar Tree. Kay calls it my signature ribbon. It's the yes. one that's burlap with the lace in the middle. I love oh, that. Oh, I love that. I have five of them yeah. right now. I buy it by the cases. I love that stuff. <laughs> because it's burlap, but then it has a little bit of white. And right. white, it brings out the white and it balances things. Well, yeah. I've always been a lace girl anyway. And then you added it in with the burlap and I just love that ribbon. <laughs> yeah, so I cute. use my leftover ribbon like that's not from Dollar Tree on my Trash to Treasure project. That's smart. Oh, cool. Because it's hard to know what to do with those last little pieces. Mm -hmm. That's true. Treasure to make a little bowl or something. Mm -hmm. That's true. So do you have a special place where you craft? I craft in this room, but on the other side of the room. So I have two tables. One table is basically kind of like my working table, my office mm -hmm. table. 
Yeah. Um, and the other one is where I have my camera over it and it's basically craft supplies all around. That's what I want to do in my new craft room. Um, Kay's lucky that she has a she shed, but she's still converting a room from home into an office craft room. Right. <laughs> and then I'm moving mine from upstairs to downstairs and converting it. And it's been a slow process, but when you're constantly making videos, it's hard to find time to move your craft supplies. And to organize yes that's the crazy part is the yeah. organization and everything so i want to do what you're saying i want to have two specific places one to do my uh, working on computers and stuff and then one where i can do my taping it would be nice if you can kind of do both like if i had you know like a more space but it's just the way this room is it's kind of it's a long room Ah. So on the sides, I have kind of my storage just on the sides and one table and the one side of the um, office where I am right now and the one uh, that's um, cra that I'm crafting is by the window. Well, Nadia, anybody who's ever watched any of my videos and watched me craft, they know that I am way too messy to combine that into one area. <laughs> I have to keep separate areas because Trish has got stuff sitting everywhere. <laughs> Trish, I would love to see your she shed. That's Kay. I would, I would love that. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I actually have a video and um, I have it like before craft season and after craft season on our channel. We'll have to send you the link to those two. Oh, definitely. Oh, I can't As you yeah. imagine. It, it has a lot of pink in it. <laughs> I am so envious. It has a front porch. It does. She's got all the organizational stuff. She's got a little seating area. She even has a chandelier in it. Oh, of course. How do you not have a chandelier in it? I know. And, the, and it has beadboard paneling in there. So it looks very cottagey and, and just pink. The walls are pink. Oh, uh, that's, I would have a she shed if I knew this was my forever home. But the yeah. thing is, I do have a, a, a plenty of space in the home. But she shed is just so, so cute. It is. It's I cute. Want one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess this is going to be. My almost last question, this is kind of going to be a two-parter, but what do you do with all the projects that you create? Um, so a lot of them I gift away. I have not come to the point where I'm selling just because I craft so many different things mm -hmm. from the seasons. I think eventually with the holidays, it'll start piling up, but for now, all my, like, not all, but half of my block has my wreaths on it. My family takes it. I'll have friends who call me from other states even and say, Nadia, can I have that? And I'm like, all right. Oh. So that's stripped out. <laughs> wow. Well, Kay's awesome. sister has claimed a couple of her projects. My sister crafts even more than I do. So if she don't want any of mine, she's piled up enough. <laughs> <laughs> I see it runs in your family, too. It does. My my mom crafted as long as I can remember coming up. She was always doing different things. She sewed a lot. She's the one who taught me to sew. She did my mm -hmm. she did um painting on the um what do you call it? Like the pottery type painting and yeah, stuff. Ceramic. Mm -hmm. Ceramic. She was constantly doing stuff and I think yeah. it kind of rubbed off on us. And my yeah. sister has worse ADHD than I do. We call it squirrel syndrome because she's doing this and all of a sudden something catches her over here and then she's over here. It's She can't stick to one thing. She's hilarious to me, but she's very talented. She is very talented. <laughs> that, that's awesome. That's awesome that, you know, it's kind of, it does run in our blood. You can't go away from it. That's true. That's very true. Well, Nadia, we thank you so much for joining us today. We don't want to continue to take a bunch of your time, but I would like to see if you could leave the viewers with one piece of advice on crafting, getting started crafting, what would you tell them? If they're starting to craft, um, be true to yourself, who you are. Um, I think you need to have your style because your style might be unique enough that there's plenty of people out there who will love what you do in particular. And as I always say, leave a piece of yourself in every in everything you do. I love that. I love that so much. So perfect. 
Well, thank you so much, sweetie. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I feel so humbled. <laughs> we are so happy you joined us. As we told our viewers when we were introducing you, we you are one of our favorites. We love you to pieces. Oh, thank you um, so much. We are going to put a link to your channel down below. And I'll throw a card up here. Nadia was in our friend hop with us and she did the, the Christmas in July friend hop. So I'll throw a link to that video of hers up here so you can go and check her out and see why we love her so much. Oh, I love you guys too. You are just the sweetest. I mean, if I lived any closer, you would be over for tea. Oh, I would love that. Yes, we would. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to get you down south, girl, so you can come over for tea. That's exactly sweet. I'll <laughs> try to make it down there. <laughs> All right. Well, you have a great weekend, Nadia. Bye. 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 I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know Nadia a little bit better. I know Trish and I have certainly enjoyed getting to know her the last few months. And if you haven't checked out her channel, be sure you go and check her out and subscribe and let her know that we sent you over. We're going to put a link to her channel down in the description box below. You are going to love her. She has such wonderful videos and she is so creative. Well, I think that's all the time we have for today. I think it is. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you saw something you liked, I hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and any suggestions you might have for us. We would love for you to tune in all week for Made It Mondays, Wild Card Wednesdays, Flippin' Fridays, and then finish off the week with Craft Chat on Saturday mornings. See you tomorrow.